Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial and today we'll be checking out these awesome scroll animations that I've made in Adobe XD and these uh, animations don't require any sort of drag, clicking, nothing of that sort. Uh, it's just pure scrolling magic. Before we start, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Is the number one on the left the favorite or number two your favorite? Let me know in the comments below right now. Okay, so these designs require you to make, first of all, a simple artboard of an iPhone 10 XS. If you go to the artboard panel, you'll be able to see so many artboards. I just selected the 10 iPhone 10. I have already laid down this artboard with all these uh, simple text and hearts and uh, all these menu items and everything here. But now comes the magical part. We will first of all create a basic rectangle, which will cover most of this area. Uh, just slightly above the text here perfect and uh, what I will be doing is make sure, making sure there are two rectangles just like this so essentially the first one what I would do is I've already downloaded some images I'll just drag them onto uh, this rectangle here and with the neck and I will remove any borders or anything that uh, this rectangle had and the next thing I'll do is uh, bring this rectangle on top make another copy of it as simple as that and I'll uh, Select both the rectangle and the image below and I'll say command shift M to mask them And that's about it. The next thing I'll do is just copy this over just below here uh, And leave some space between the text and the image as well and for the second one I will basically select the image here and from whatever downloads folder I have I will drag the image onto this previous image and as you can see the image has been replaced uh, with all the other elements intact i will just do this two more times with different images so the next thing that you got to do once you've placed the images is select the image say command k to make these a component both of these command k and uh, the first image here which is this uh, statue of christ i will basically click on this plus icon which is the add state and I'll say hover state so now we have two states now I will do this with both or all of these images and once both our states are ready uh, I'll just have to add one more touch to these images and I'll create a rectangle um, and I'll make sure that the rectangle is inside these components just double click inside the component and just draw the rectangle and the next thing I'll do is just drag these this rectangle towards the top make sure that it's towards the middle of the top image here and i will reduce the opacity of this rectangle as well now as you can see the co component stretches out till the top even though the rectangle on top is completely invisible and now what i'll do is just copy this invisible rectangle into the same comp into the next component here and just drag make sure that this rectangle stretches up to the sit to the half portion of this Jesus Christ image now uh, as you can see we have these stretched out images with components so the first image on hover on uh, the default state what I'll do is just double tap on this mask which is the image and reduce the opacity to about 60% do the same with the second image double click and say 60% opacity now for the first one in the hover state I will first of all double click inside the mask, make sure that I've selected the image and just expand this simple image. Uh, make sure it's not too big, but it shouldn't be too small either. And I will increase the opacity to 100. Now the default state is dark and small, but the hover state is big and bright. Now that we have hover states for both of these images, I will basically start the prototype and we can see this in action. All you need to do is make sure that the mouse is inside this artboard. That's it. Now when you scroll, see how these images brighten and expand before you even get to scroll towards them. It is pretty awesome. Now for the second design or second scroll animation, I've already placed some elements on the screen here. These are basically, I've created things with pen, the pen tool. This is uh, a good amount of text here as well. And I've also placed the search and menu icons here. Now uh, for the second section, what I'll do is create another rectangle 
make it tall or short it's up to you and remove the borders and i want a linear gradient of a light um a light blue which goes towards a, a very light and subtle uh, purple almost purple i'd say and uh, this would rep uh, represent water and we will also create little waves uh, simply with the pen tool just make them just like this perfect and i will also replicate this text to come here and make sure that the waves are high enough uh, in nature to basically uh, you know slightly overlap this text here and i will change the jungle of course uh, to the ocean isn't this a beautiful design now what i'll do is um, first for the first section i won't really do much but for the second section of course i will select all these images and say command k make this a component and make sure this is behind all these other cool elements on top and for this one i will create two states as well one hover state and one default state so in the default state what i'll do is i will just drag these waves down a little bit maybe towards the left also a little bit and i will hide this how do i do that command comma or control comma is the tool is the shortcut to hide these things and i'll move this arrow to the bottom as well and hide them and i will move the text to the bottom as well uh, and the animation depends on how far you take the text I'm not going to take the text too far just up slightly towards the bottom and it's say command comma of course and uh, as you can see a hover state is nothing i will now what i'll do is i'll un unhide these elements by saying uh, I'll, by clicking these little eye icons right next to these elements and first of all i'll bring the text up that is more convenient just like that and i'll also bring these waves up back to their original position and bring this arrow also back to its original position now i will make the magic happen but before i do that i'll go to prototype mode go to default state make sure it's at default state and i'll say hover auto animate and i'll change the ease out function to ease in out and i'll give it a slower animation to 0.6 seconds and that's about it so now what i'll do is i will play this now as you can see the screen is smaller shorter but this is how the magic will happen if we scroll down oh yes the ocean animation happens and if we scroll up the ocean animation disappears once again so that is how scroll animations will now take place now if you like this video i'm sure you will like all my videos on my channel i have hundreds of videos uh, which are on adobe xd and everything else design which i post every monday and thursday go ahead subscribe to my channel and also click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video next time. God bless.